Oliver and Toad are a new addition to the Little Western, and a welcome one at that. They were set to be scrapped, but were rescued by Douglas and brought to Sir Topham Hatch Railway. The other engines are just as happy as they are to have them on the railway. The only exception are the trucks, who remember the time Oliver pulled Scruffy apart and are terrified of playing tricks on him. One day, Douglas and Oliver were shunting their trains. Toad was waiting for Oliver in a siding when he then heard a whisper. Psst, over here! Toad looked all over until he found who was whispering. It was a brake van, but not just any brake van. It was the same brake van that caused the Enders trouble long ago. He had been rebuilt and put back into use. He looked worried as he continued to whisper. I hear you're friends with the engines. That's well and good, but make sure not to get on their bad side, especially Douglas. I was on the back of James's train when Douglas came to help. We were climbing up the hill when Douglas used all of his might and crushed me in between. You never know the true might of an engine, and never know just what they might do if you misbehave. Toad was unnerved by the story. Then Oliver put Toad at the back of his train before puffing away. That night, Toad told Oliver all about it. I don't think Mr. Douglas is a bad engine, he said to Oliver. But I am not sure if I can trust him. He might break me apart by accident. I don't want to be scrapped, Mr. Oliver. Don't worry, Toad, smiled Oliver. I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Next day, Oliver was due for a heavy train. He shunted the trucks into place and collected Toad. When all was ready, he set off down the line. The trucks were still behaving well, but the load was heavy. Oliver was growing more and more tired with each station they passed. Soon they reached Wellsworth, where Oliver stopped and got a drink. It was then they saw Douglas. Goodness gracious me, he exclaimed. You look like you've seen better days, Ollie. Oliver panted softly, trying to catch his breath. Would you like some help getting up the hill? No thanks, he quickly replied. I can do it. After his drink, Oliver charged towards the hill.
He tried to get enough speed as he raced up Gordon's hill. He tugged and pulled with all his might. But even with the valiant effort, Oliver was stuck. Toad immediately grew worried as he saw Douglas puffing up the hill. And along with him was the fat controller as he went to talk to Oliver. I admire your determination, Oliver, he began. But you must begin to realize your own strength by now. I'm sorry, sir, replied Oliver, but Toad is afraid to be pushed by Douglas. He then explained everything. Sir Topham had then just smiled and approached Toad. I understand your feelings, Toad, but you mustn't worry. Douglas may have the strength for three, but that brake van was old and out of date. You, along with the other brake vans, had already been refurbished. I can assure you that you won't come apart. Toad did feel better, as Douglas then buffered up behind. Douglas began to push, and Oliver began to pull. Hard, steep climb. But at last, the two made it to the top, with Toad in one piece. I'm sorry, Mr. Douglas, said Toad softly. I should have trusted you. Ha! replied Douglas. Nothing to worry about. You were just worried, that's all. But Toad wasn't worried anymore. He knew he had a reliable friend called Douglas to trust in.